Maybe if I had bought a blue truck, I would fit in. <laughs> I'm the odd one out. Nope. I'm the weirdo. Check me out. Good morning, Internet! Good morning! Hello. How are you, Steven? I'm good. Very good. You ready to go on vacation? Yeah, I just packed a lot for a vacation. I made him pack while I edited video. We are leaving right this second. Your video is coming out when we're coming back. Yes. So time. this isn't done. Time, time travel. travel. Complicated. So welcome to tour day! Woo! We looked at commentary and uh, it seemed that some people wanted a house door, some people wanted a truck door, some people wanted both. So we just decided we would film both. Let's we'll do both. We'll put That'd some timestamps so that you can skip to one or the other or you can watch both if you're awesome. Uh, anyway, so the truck tour is first and then the house tour is second. I will take you on the truck tour. And I'll do the house tour. And he will do the house tour. So let's go ahead and get started. Sound good? Let's do you it. Ready? You ready? Are you ready? the truck tour. Do you want a truck tour? Did you want to see Barbosa? He's pretty rad, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, I think I got pretty lucky picking this one out. Um, so let's go ahead and see how much of this we can catch. It's uh, threatening to rain, so it might get loud. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. So anyway, this is our, uh, our console. <laughs> like, it looks like every other truck console, nothing special. Um, I will show you one thing though, because this makes me very happy. Ta-da! Ready? You're gonna hear a lot of air because it's hot. <laughs> so I haven't turned that all off. All right, so we're at 448. Watch that check engine light. Ready? Come on. There it goes. Yeah, that's right. And I'm getting 7.4 miles to the gallon. That's awesome. And I'm loaded. That'll all go out. Yes, 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 yes. All of those things. Yes. So my check engine light does not stay on. None of them do. I have zero issues with him right now, knock on wood. I've paid a good deal of money to make sure that that doesn't happen. Anyway, so that's really the only thing here that's new. Um, here are all my lights. Um, these are outdoor lights. These are also outdoor lights. These are also outdoor lights. And I have all of these. They're all in the back. Um, that is my interior light. Ta-da! which we could use, actually. This one is my light check outside, which is super useful. Uh, this is my gauges up and down light, if, if you were curious as to what that does. Uh, here obviously are my headlights. Uh, here are the controls for my mirrors, which is this thing. I use the right one a lot more often because I do a lot of blind siding lately. <laughs> that mirror makes all the difference. And then obviously my locks and my windows. Um, and then my mirror heat. That's a very, very important right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look over here. This is to control all the stuff that shows up on here. I usually leave it on miles per gallon because I like to know how I'm doing. Um, and since since I took it to a um, dealership, I, I mean, it, it didn't work and then I get an update and now it works. So anyway, um, this is my engine brakes. We know that very well. Uh, this is my engine fan, which I have been using a little bit lately. Uh, before I got the check engine light thing fixed, I had to turn that on on a regular basis to get it to stop dinging at me. It's a long story, we'll get into my death issue later. Um, these are my hazards, which we all know and love. Here's my radio, nothing special, it all controls the radio up there, which has a lot of fingerprints on it, and I haven't like played with it enough to get all that garbage off. Um, these are my dials for all of my air, which is great, they all work wonderful. Uh, this is this cute little, I usually put my phone in here when I'm moving, that way I don't play with it. Um, this is for Tom. This is usually for my um, keep trucking logbook, which I love. These I never use. These are cup holders. I never ever use them. They rattle. <laughs> um, we know this is your parking brake. These are your trailer brakes. Moving on, um, we have some, some stuff we know. We know the air suspension dump, the fifth wheel slide, and the axle diff lock. But we also have a trailer dump rear, and we have a trailer dump front. I have not used either of these buttons, but I'm assuming they probably work. But I haven't tested it. I have no idea what they really do. I'm really kind of curious. So maybe someday we'll play with those. But I have them. It's a thing. Um, this is the light for my sleeper. Hooray! Uh, this is the disable my... Um, what's that called? When they clean my DPF and the def stuff and all the filters. That's what that button is for. Um, and then this is my traction control. Which hopefully I never drive anywhere that I need that. And I have all these extra buttons for when I put more lights on my truck. Um, I don't know how many lights I want to put on this truck. I don't know that I want to go crazy. I do want underglow that I can turn on and off because I think that would be really sick. 
um, and maybe a couple other ones like underneath the sleeper that shine onto the frame, but that you can't see. And then I was thinking about getting not the lights that I had on Laz where it was it ran all the way down the sleeper, but like little button lights on the sleeper down there, rather than like the big chrome bar, because I don't want any chrome on this truck. Like any chrome that's already on it, I've <laughs> kind of taken some some stuff that has been painted and chromed off already. Um, but no, I'm not putting any chrome on this truck. Zero. I'm not buying anything chrome. So, sorry guys, I'm not a chrome girl. If it's black chrome, if it's that dark black chrome, I'll take that. I'm hoping this side of the truck doesn't need as much explanation. This is Steve and Jet seat. They sit here. Um, that's my other door. It has the same controls that I do. Um, this is my glove box. It has all of my manuals in it, which I was really happy about. Like, it literally came with everything, which is great. Um, this is my desk, but Steve uses it, and it scares the dickens out of me because we will be going down the road, and I'll be driving, and he'll just get up to go do something in the sleeper and leave his MacBook on that desk, and it drives me nuts. I'm like, Steve, I cannot save this book. I am just driving. <laughs> Please do something about it. <laughs> scares me every time. Every time. So anyway, let's look at my floor, my, my crappy floor mats. Cause that one matches, but this one doesn't. It's it's the wrong one. So that's my life. Um, anyway, here's my 13 speed, and I love it. Hello, Eaton. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, look at that stick. Look at it. Yeah, I absolutely love having a 13 speed. It's super nice. This thing came with the truck, and I I thought at first I was like, I don't need this stupid thing. I'm gonna take it out, but it is super useful. It has like a little pocket down here where I keep my my airlock lock and then uh, there's, there's where I put my cup there's where I put my tablet um, this is where I put another cup even though it's supposed to be for like a large cup and then I bought a basket and that keeps like all my goodies and my toothbrush and apparently sunscreen now um, and then my water bottles those live there I have my spare water over there I have my big shoes over there hello it is time to focus there we go so big shoes uh, water bottles like spare water um, this is my laundry bag come on focus Pay attention to me. Maybe if I turn the light on, would it help? Ah, oh, there we go. There's my laundry bag. Uh, it actually carries all my clean laundry in and then it hangs out and gets all my dirty laundry on the way out. Uh, my new seat came with a, a, a document holder, which is super nice. Oh goodness, my poor, watch my chickens. Boom. Anyway, um, now I put, this is all my hazmat paperwork and stuff, my hazmat manual and things. So that lives there for now until I do pull a hazmat load and then it lives in the door because that's legally where it's supposed to go. Alright, there's my new seat. I love my new seat. I bought that on purpose because my other one was all worn out. Um, trash can. Very important. Has lived in all of my trucks. <laughs> Why do you not have a trash can? It's very important. Um, my hat. My, my towel. This is the, what I guess called, Steve called this the mystery towel, which it really is. And the camera's hot again. Okay, so on the other side of the truck, I have my refrigerator. The only thing is that this is a little sticky, but there it is. Ta-da! I have a fridge! And I should make me a bagel with some salmon. That would be great. Um, I'm so glad this comes in a large size now. I'm not kidding, this is the best creamer I've ever had. Um, roast beef, a Pam Pellegrino, because I don't drink regular soda, because I'm a weirdo. Um, yeah, so there's my fridge. It even comes with a little freezer! I used to put ice cream in there until I had a problem with it melting. <laughs> Anyway, that's what that is. I didn't want to buy a truck without a fridge. Um, we know this tiny drawer. I apparently took Steve's slips with me, so I had to buy him another pair on Amazon. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, here's my closet, which we all know and love. I still have a winter coat in it, which honestly has served me well, <laughs> because some parts of the country are still in winter, even though it's like June. <laughs> so anyway, I leave that in here. Um, the rest of it's just regular clothes. Um, the this mystery box. I have some hazmat placards underneath there, but don't tell anybody. This is all of my permits. Like, this is my big permit book. I don't know any company that doesn't have a permit book. What are you doing? <laughs> like, there's so many things you need a permit book for. Uh, this is my paper log book in case my tablet decides it doesn't want to work anymore. Uh, I don't know what the heck this is. I think it relates to the truck. Uh, oh, that's for my, um, my heater that currently doesn't work, which is another story. It just needs maintenance. It's really what it is. Um, so anyway, this is where I keep all my breads. All my breads live here. Here's, I actually use this in the truck now for my cover because I didn't want to deal with all the, all of this stuff is like missing. You notice I don't have the, the track is here, but I don't have anything in it. Um, I still have these curtains, which is really good when it's, you know, sub-zero and you only want to heat this side. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to come in handy. This came with the truck. Uh, Jet loves it. I will show you how stupid he gets when we play with it one of these days.
Um, I bought my screens, we know that. Um, but I don't have the, the roundabout thing that goes here. It, I think it came with the truck. It wasn't installed when I picked it up and I don't care. Like I just don't want it. So I use this instead. Uh, this works really, really well. It's super versatile. Um, and I will use this one to block that window because again, I don't I have all the leather pieces I could use to cover those windows, but I'm not gonna use them. I just, I don't want extra stuff to carry around. These hang, they work as other things. They are multi-use, multi it's really good. So anyway, there's all my bread. I keep my plastic bags in a little basket that's back here that you just can't see. Um, GoPro camera stuff, I'm not kidding, that whole box is GoPro camera stuff. Some paper bags, a bug, um, my speaker, this one doesn't work. Um, Steve thinks it's a wiring issue. We haven't torn it apart to look yet. It's on a list. It's like one of those things that I don't need it right now, but it'll we'll get there someday. Um, so anyway, I think a Atlas is up there and my driver manual is up there. Um, on this side, I have two more boxes of GoPro stuff. Um, I don't remember what that thing is. Oh, those are my seals. Yeah, because I have a huge bag of seals. Um, that's my first aid kit. That's my laundry stuff, which is awful because I actually have two sets of laundry stuff now because I forgot that was there. Um, this is kind of like my hodgepodge of things, like vitamins are up here, salt and pepper's up here, my um, exercise like tension bands are up there, a giant box of tea, um, some more snacky things, my hairbrush, another box full of other things for making food, like that's just like a random hodgepodge of things. Um, in this one, I have kept my printer which is actually very useful. We have used it. <laughs> it works great in the truck, even though we don't have an inverter. It's okay, it works fine. Um, well, actually, we didn't use it in the truck. We hooked it up, <laughs> it, was, it was at a rest area, and we used it at like a pilot. We hooked it up in a pilot one time, or in a, a rest area. Like, we've done some crazy stuff with it so far. Um, this is my shower bag. These are jets. Um, my camera is hot again. You, that's, that's about it. Spike hides back there sometimes when he's here. Um, so I'll finish this up here in a second, as soon as the camera's pulled down. Okay, so you've seen my bed. This is the bed. Uh, it's ever so slightly too short for this space. Uh, I didn't want the mattress that was in it. I bought a Casper mattress a long time ago uh, for my truck. I think this is supposed to be an XL, like a twin XL. And it's just ever so slightly too short uh, by a lot. So Steve built me this lovely shelf that just fits and it works awesome. So it holds all of my cross stitch and my postcard stuff here. Obviously the camera lives here until we're running and then it moves under the bed and then it doesn't fall off. A bunch of cleaning stuff has moved in down here. Ta -da! And some like truck fluids and stuff and obviously they've moved around quite a bit because that's what happens when you drive. Things shift. <laughs> it just happens. Um, I have a couple of notebooks. This is where I keep all the paperwork that goes home or needs to come back into the truck and some paper for the printer is in here. Like that's what this is for. Um, this is my hodgepodge of lady things, things that I use to take care of me, like my moisturizer and like nail polish remover and other things, like my nighttime mask and a candle, because I like having an atmosphere in the truck sometimes. Get over it. Um, so anyway, here's my backpack that I can move. Uh, this is the last set of cabinets. Uh, this bad boy holds all of my random stuff, little things like a knife, a spoon and fork, some batteries for the, the microphone that's hanging up over there. Um, other things I would need in case I needed to repair anything. My cross stitch I'm working on. Um, an extra thing to freshen the truck. And that's because I have carpets in here and I don't want carpets in here. It's another long time project. Um, but because I have carpets, they stank a little bit. So that's why I have air fresheners. Otherwise, I'd be, I wouldn't have them. Um, someday the carpets will disappear and it will be a beautiful gray floor, wood floor, fake wood floor. Same idea. Anyway, um, so that's why I have extra air fresheners. That, and I keep spilling water bottles because I leave them on this table and then start driving and then they fall and then they leak all over my floor. And it is the worst thing. All over my floor it leaks. It's so bad. Oh goodness, I have killed the battery. All right, so let's do this really quick. Um, this is where I keep the vacuum. Love my vacuum. I also have all my pants in here. And then this is a spare box of food. And I think my scanner is on top of here somewhere, which, that's it, that's it. That's my truck, all of my stuff, yes. Ugh. Sh shut the cabinet. So that's my truck. This is where we live in my Barbosa when I'm out. Um, and he works really good, and I'm really happy with him. So that's, uh, that's my quick truck tour. Now back to the office. Oh, I don't know what's in my eye. I should get whatever in my eye. I've like had this chronic something that's stuck in my eye, but I went to the eye doctor today and he said everything's fine. Did you know, today I learned that the heterochromia that's in my eyes 
My eyes are actually both blue. What? Right, they're both blue, but the brown one is just a giant freckle. Weird. I know, right? So strange. But I found that out today. I'm the best eye doctor. It was really cool. I was like, are you kidding me? So I guess that means that like my little brown spot is a giant freckle. Yeah. Or like a, a, I guess not a, a giant. Mini freckle? A mini small freckle. Same exact thing. So, so it's a freckle. They said to just keep an eye on it, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that was it was a terrible pun and not on purpose. And I think I was trying to say that if it gets bigger to let them know, or if it's smaller to let them know. It's been like this forever, so whatever. Um, so anyway, isn't the whole thing brown? No, there's like a little piece of blue in it, which I guess is the original color, and then like this brown spot just appeared. Yeah. Truck tour down. Barbosa has been introduced. Do you like the truck? I'm sorry, I stole your sandals. No, it's okay. I now have two pairs of sandals. Now have two pairs of sandals. This is the first time I've ever actually managed to buy a second pair of sandals that is the same as the first, because usually I'm like, I love these sandals, and they discontinue them, and I can never find them again. I took notes. I didn't take them. We're gonna move on to the house tour, which I think is a little bit more extensive because it's bigger. Barbosa is just, like just 80, not even 80, 80 square feet inside, not even. And this is 2,100 yes. square feet inside. So let's go do that! Let's do it. This is where you turn off the camera. <laughs> this is where you turn off. You need to turn off that air conditioner, Steve. I'm working on it. Steve. The air conditioner. You're really excited about this house, aren't you? You were excited about smart outlets too. So this is what the bedroom used to look like. And here's what it looks like now. Whoa! So obviously there used to be a closet over in this corner, as you remember from our demolition video. And then the bed was right about here in a really awkward, like on the floor mattress space. What's going on in here? Um, there's now a bathroom here. What? Borrowed, with lights! We borrowed some space from the office and we knocked a hole through this wall and I reframed it to have a nice doorway there. Uh, there will be a, a toilet over here where this lovely flange is. This wall will be tiled with like an inset set of shelves. Uh, Allie likes to scribble on walls in case she ever opens them up. Shh. And then over here uh, we have a vanity sink and there will be a nice mirror in this spot. I think the mirror is right here. Yes, that is the mirror. And <laughs> still in this packaging is fragile. And then this drywall will be up there. And then we have to do the remaining drywall yet, but we're getting there. Here is more of the bedroom. Yep. All new electrical, new ceiling. Blackout curtains. Oh, yeah, we had to solve the bat problem in the attic, which you saw in the, the previous videos about that, where we put up the, the panels to isolate our attic from the neighboring houses. So yeah, it's been quite an adventure. So this is what the office used to look like. And here's what it looks like now. Whoa! Cat wants to leave. And if we want to, if we want to get super fancy. Whoa! How did you do that, Steve? These are Philips Hue lights. So what did we do differently in this house? In this room. Yeah, that's room. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Obviously, this space here is the bathroom that you just saw, which we, we borrowed some space from the office. This room was really long as it was. So we didn't quite need all of that space for everything we wanted to put in here. Uh, so instead, we built that out, uh, put all the electronica in that wall so the TV doesn't have cables running down anymore like it used to. Um, all the network stuff goes into the closet, which is... Show me the closet. What's going on in there? So up here we've got all the internet gear and UPC and all that What else that did you stuff. do in this closet? Um, there are some fancy hard drive arrays uh, down here because when you do digital video you need a lot of storage space. That's very true. So yes. Everything is baking in here right now. It's very hot in that closet. Well that's because we have the AC off. That's true. Because it's too loud for the video. Very. Uh, but yeah that's all hooked up through the walls into the computers. Uh, we have both of our desks. What's going on under here? Uh, there are a pair of floor boxes, which my slippers are in the way of. They are. If I do that, Whoa! Probably this. Yeah. And then that. Whoa! There's yeah. an outlet in the floor. Those were a real pain to install, but totally worth it. Because you can keep a whole bunch of power strips and cable mess so that you no longer need. And then over here we built a, a stand for our printers. 
Uh, they used to just sit on top of a cabinet underneath the TV. That's true. And we that still looks have room good. for our fancy clock, so that's exciting. Spike has his little window perch. So yeah, that's the office. So this is sort of the central artery of the house, and this is still very much in progress. Uh, the stairs that you're coming down right now are brand new. We had to basically rip out the other ones. Uh, they weren't structurally sound, and we built new ones from scratch. Uh, these floors used to have vinyl tiles stuck to them. Uh, that is no longer the case. We have sanded them down, and they will be stained the same lovely color as the steps and the rooms that you saw upstairs. What's going on on these stairs? They've got a pattern. Um, it's a textured wallpaper. So if you feel that it's got little like ripples in it, which is neat. Uh, um, that's from York Wall Coverings, which is actually based in York. Although we, we couldn't buy from them directly, we had to order from a third party wholesaler. Mm -hmm. it's, it's dumb. Anyway. You're um, missing a railing. Yeah, that's gonna be- That's like, really dangerous. Well, normally we have Jet's dog fence up along here, but because we were sanding the floor, we took it out. Um, there's gonna be at some point a huge railing that goes down and then across and then down again, um, all as like one big piece will actually be several small ones merged together uh, but that will be done once the stairs and floor are done so these walls are almost ready to paint we have a little bit more sanding to do because the plaster needed to be repaired uh, and then the ceiling obviously is all brand new because we had to redo all the electrical that's in there um, where this blue box is with the wire caps hanging out of it that will be a track light that runs down this way um, and then it'll spot onto these walls where we can hang our fancy photography work. So this brickwork here was originally covered by plaster and then we had a water leak up in this area that had like been slowly trickling down the wall so we had to remove all that and we kind of liked the look of it so we decided we're going to stain the beams like this using the same stain as the floor. That's the old one. Yeah this is how it looked originally and like the bricks all in a pretty rough shape uh, and then these two sections Allie has repaired with new mortar. Uh, these are little replacement bricks that are going to go in to basically cover up damaged areas. Uh, so once we get more mortar, those will go in. And then all the other beams will be stained accordingly once we get to that point. But that's pretty exciting. And then these stairs here, um, we're going to eliminate this weird diagonal step at the top and make it another riser like the rest. Um, and then these will all get retreaded similar to the other staircase, although the, the stringers that hold these up are in good enough shape we won't need to replace them, we'll just have to basically like retread the stairs. So this was the studio before. And here it is now with a whole bunch of stuff that's not studio stuff in it. Uh, this unfortunately has sort of become our landing zone for renovation materials. So we've got everything from power tools to sandpaper, so you name it. Uh, and then we move back into the regular studio stuff like Allie's wall of fabric. And this is the filming table that you probably remember from the videos when we were in Montana. Uh, back here is a laundry room. Uh, this will all eventually be redone. Uh, what are we doing back there? This is going to be the entrance to the new studio once we have a chance to build on. So what are we doing with the old studio? That's all going to become expanded bathroom. So the bathroom that was really, really tiny is going to extend out here to this window. We'll have a shower, a tub, a uh, double vanity, a lot more room for stuff. And then this here becomes a hallway leads back to the new studio which will be where this laundry room is and then the laundry moves downstairs so this is the second floor bathroom before and here it is now uh, not a whole lot has changed in here except the floor is missing um, the funny story about that so the drain stack uh, for all the plumbing was made of cast iron and it was being held exclusively by the two bolts on this toilet which were made of plastic uh, obviously that didn't work out so well and the entire thing sunk, sheared the bolts off. Uh, so I had to remove the ceramic tile to get the toilet to sit low enough. Yeah, you can see the nice little metal drain pipe. Why is there a hole? Um, if you lower the camera a little bit, you'll see that this metal drain pipe now ends right here. Uh, it used to continue all the way up and then go out the ceiling as a, a plumbing vent. Uh, that's all being replaced with plastic, as you'll see when we get to that bathroom. But I needed access through here to cut and this wall is going to be redone anyway, so there's a weird little peekaboo hole in the bathroom for now, but that will all be replaced. So this is what this bedroom used to look like. And here it is now. <laughs> Obviously this one is very much a work in progress. Uh, we had to remove this ceiling to be able to do some plumbing. Are those your floor boxes? Yes. So the floor boxes from the office, that's the bottom half of those. 
this plumbing goes to the bathroom that you saw on the third floor. That's brand new, so we had to run those drains all the way over to here. And then this is that metal drain pipe that you saw when we did the bathroom. Uh, so that's been cut out, and then there's going to be a plastic line that runs down and picks up an all new stack from there. So that's exciting. Uh, there's still more plumbing to do. I haven't done the water supply lines yet. Uh, you can see the little stubs sticking down to the sink. Uh, that's all we have done so far. What well, used to be over there? Yeah, there used to be a closet here. This is actually sort of similar to what we used to have up in the master bedroom, uh, where there was like weird strips where the plaster just kind of ends. Uh, that used to come out here. There was a, an archway up over there. Uh, that's all been demolished. The plan is to make the closet slightly deeper because you couldn't get a full hanger in there before. Uh, so now it'll be deep enough that that'll actually work. And then that will span the full width instead of being a little tiny closet. So what are you doing with the door? This door is gonna be eliminated. It's not gonna be there anymore. That wall will just be solid. Uh, this closet is for the other bedroom, which is gonna get pushed back a little bit. And then there'll be some built-in shelves over here and a matching set of built-in shelves on the other side. And then the closet in the other bedroom will be rebuilt in a new location. What'd you do to the floor? Uh, this has just been stained today, actually. So we're gonna do polyurethane tomorrow. And then this will be a nice finished surface, just like up in the office in the bedroom. And then there's going to be some new walls. You can see the base plates that are here. Uh, this plaster was in really, really bad shape. Uh, so we're going to build up new walls here, here, and around the chimney. Why would you put in new walls? Um, these are currently behind here is bricks. So it's plastered directly on brick. So if you want to put power and insulation, uh, there's not really room for that. So we had to build new walls in order to be able to do those things. So this is this bedroom before, and here it is now. Obviously this room has a lot of stuff in it, and that's mainly because the other bedroom has been cleaned out to make room for the renovations. So all that stuff had to come in here, which is why there's an excess amount of furniture. Uh, but this bedroom will eventually be redone as well. Uh, we just haven't gotten to it yet. So this ceiling will all come out. Uh, there'll be, there's a knob and tube electrical that currently connects this light to the switch on the wall. Uh, we don't have the power on at the moment, so I can't actually show you. But anyway, that's all gonna be removed and upgraded to new recessed lighting. Uh, closet will probably be built over in this corner here, not quite the full width, but probably six feet or so. Uh, and then we're going to switch up some of these radiators. The silver one you see here is actually headed up to the office. And then there's a big one over there that will be in this room instead. So, Not much to say about this room yet? No, it's, it's on the list. But here's the door we're going to use for that room. This is the living room, which used to look like this. And now it looks like this, which honestly isn't very different. Uh, the main things we did in here were unbury a lovely pocket door in which you're standing, um, and then realize why they buried it. Uh, it leaks cold like crazy in the winter, which we're gonna fix at some point. Uh, this ceiling fan is destined to go away very soon. We literally just bought it, it's right there. <sighs> yeah, we bought a new one. Uh, the current one, if you turn this on, uh, the fan basically runs all the time and only two of the lights work, so we're gonna get rid of that. It needs to match our dining room anyway. Exactly. Uh, eventually this ceiling will get a little bit of a boost up, um, because this is actually lowered from its original height, and we're gonna fix that, plus there's an oven tube in here that I have to remove. Uh, these heating pipes that are on the other side, they're gonna go away as well, because we're redoing all the radiators into uh, a special new pipe called Pexalpex. We'll get into that later. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the living room. This is the dining room, which used to look like this, and now it looks like this. Uh, not a whole lot's different here either. Obviously, we replaced the light, the ceiling fan that was here with this lovely new light fixture. Um, we removed some trim so that our fancy bookshelf can go up against that has a little vinyl on it. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. Uh, this room will get a higher ceiling as well. Uh, these radiator pipes in the corner will be removed very shortly. Uh, we've actually disconnected them up in the ceiling already. And there'll obviously be new power in the walls, and at some point we'll probably refinish this floor. I'm not sure if we'll be able to keep the original, like I love this detail work, but the obviously this area here, like it's got some real bad damage to it. So we may or may not be able to sand that down. If not, that will be unfortunate, but we'll have to replace it. So this is the foyer area. Uh, not a whole lot has changed here. We stripped some wallpaper down. Uh, this was our first test. Uh, using fabric softener and hot water as a removal agent, which works great on wallpaper, pro tip. Uh, and then we've removed a little bit of the plaster up in the ceiling just to run new power. 
uh, but nothing major there other than just stuffing some conduit in walls. What are you going to do on the ceiling? Uh, this is all going to be replaced and eventually then there'll be like a series of hanging pendulum type lights uh, that are all different heights. So that would be the lighting setup that's in here. First floor bathroom. And basically we've done a number of things in here. <laughs> there used to be a, a vanity here and a toilet right here. Those have obviously been removed. I needed to get access to this wall in order to do the plumbing for the third floor. Uh, so this stack right here is being completely removed. That's what used to do the sink. And there was a vent going up. And then this is the second floor bathroom coming down, which will all be replaced to remove these rubber connections and all of that cast iron plumbing. So eventually this will all be redone. Uh, there'll be a shower in this corner, a uh, small vanity sink here, and then the toilet will be over here somewhere. And this doorway is gonna be a pocket door, so pretty much the opening will be kind of where the door is now, and it'll disappear into the wall in this direction. Uh, not a whole lot is different here. Uh, we've made a number of planning steps, kind of preparing for a new kitchen. Uh, we did replace some appliances. Obviously this is a new dishwasher. Uh, the old one was getting gross and eventually stopped cleaning the dishes. They ended up dirtier than when you put them in there, so we got rid of that. So we're slowly working on replacing appliances. We have a new fridge, but it has not been installed yet, so this is still the old one. Uh, I have to take all the doors off to be able to get it in here because it's too wide. Uh, so we'll do that at some point. Uh, the new layout for the kitchen, uh, this will be sort of an island in this area. Um, fridge will stay where it is. Stove is going to move over just a little bit. And then on the island, there will be the sink with the dishwasher all on this area. All right, next up is the basement. Obviously, as you can see from the giant pile of metal pipes, uh, we've done a lot of work down here. So the biggest item was actually removing asbestos. So all of these old heating lines were all wrapped in asbestos. So we had that professionally removed because I don't really feel qualified to do that. And obviously it's not worth the health risk. Uh, down here we've done a lot, of, a lot of plumbing, which you saw in some of the previous videos. That's where this stack came from. The upper half of that is actually almost ready to be replaced. So you can see over here we've got basically some things disconnected from that. That's all going to be plastic all the way up. Down this way, minus the wires hanging from the ceiling, uh, we have two new water heaters. Uh, the reason there is two and not one is purely financial. Uh, there was a much better deal buying two smaller water heaters uh, that were heat pump based instead of one larger one. So we bought two. Uh, this wall then is being studded out. We have that going. Uh, there will be some additional plumbing things here. This expansion tank is going to get mounted on the wall. And then over this way, obviously, we did the new panel. We're slowly working on moving the circuits off the old onto the new. This will eventually be completely removed. And then there'll be studs across the back as well. And then all down this side as well. We did a house to work. We yes. did a house to work. And right. now you know why I'm driving because I need to make lots of money <laughs> to pay for this house. And then maybe I'll stop driving when I don't have to pay for this crap anymore. Yeah, like whenever that is. I this is a five year plan, this is the idea. I mean, we did get the for the top floor practically finished. In one year. In one year. Yeah. So now we're moving on to the second floor. That will not all get done in one year. No, but it's getting there. It's getting A there. lot of what had to be done on the second floor supports what happened on this floor, such as like if you're gonna make a bathroom, you want the plumbing to go somewhere. That might work. So yeah, that might be good. Tends you, to work with You don't want all of the waste to just go into the ceiling or the wall, which has been the running joke. <laughs> we haven't actually done that, but that was no, a running joke. Yeah, no. Thank you so much for hanging out. We truly appreciate it. The next video comes out on June... June 30th. 30th. Two weeks. Two weeks. It's almost like we have a running schedule. What? Mm -hmm. I no. know. <laughs> Who does that? Not us. We have a website. It has merch on it. It gets updated as stuff gets built. And actually, the Octo Squad is now up. So. The Octo Squad works? Yeah. The Octo Squad works! You guys should be part of the Octo Squad. It's super cool. We have a bunch of backgrounds, which are all photos I've taken on our vacations and while I'm driving. Not while I'm driving, but like out there. Well, on trips sense? driving. That makes yeah. yeah. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we have a bunch of backgrounds that are photos. You can put them on your phone or on your computer. We also have postcards that we send once a month. Last month, this month, June. It was super cool because it was a big six by nine of the truck. Yeah, they were fancy. They were really fancy. I just sent those out because I'm a loser. Um, <laughs> June's postcards. I don't remember what the picture is, but I'm sure it's super cool. I could look it up now, but I'm not gonna. And we also have merch. We have the official Octo Squad logo, which is on a bunch of t-shirts and 
other things. I think we have a flag. I'm making our own flag. That's gonna be really Someday cool when you finish that. Someday I'll find time to sew a flag. Literally, I've been sitting on this project since last year. Like I have it, I just have to put all the layers together and stitch it. Shh, don't call me out. Good lord. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> all right guys, we're getting out of here. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks, bye.